Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, and some happy mail. Matter of fact, there are two parcels here. Um, one I knew was coming, one it was a mystery. That's right. This, I believe, now I have gone ahead and cut the tape on it so that I wouldn't have to sit here and fiddle with it so much while standing here. Um, during Miss Lisa Ladybird, a uh, link here and down below, during her six days of insanity, the enormous live that she had for the birthday and the, the Christmas and all of that, um, I won something. Well, actually, I didn't win. It was donated to me. Someone else won, and they said, no, no, give it to Debra. And I was like, cool. And I got to choose, and you know, you choose with the envelopes and stuff. And I chose the first one that came up. Yes! Okay, wait a second. It's called Grays, and I remember that. Look, oh, there's yarn and <laughs> Unicorn Club bag. Now, while I'm laughing so hard at this, the very first thing that Lisa won from me, um, I sent this bag in it and I told her she could use it for what she wants. She could use it in a giveaway or something. And now I got it back. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Either that or she had another one just like it. Because that is fabulous. Unicorn Club. You know what? No, this is not the same bag. I sent her another one that had cats on it. I remember this being in the fruit salad giveaways. You put your choices down. And I chose Unicorn Club almost every time that those came up and I never won. That's right. I did send her a bag that she ended up using for something else, which is awesome because you know what? We share in this community. Now onto the yarn because yes, unicorns love bad hair day, y'all. Just deal with it. It's, it's a hat day. At least it's not pink. I spoke with Lisa earlier today when I told her the packages got here and I told her I was wearing a pink hat and I told her I would get that sorted before I recorded a video. All right, it is written Gray's Erin Cotton DK because that's how she was keeping track of things, was on little notes. Oh, did you not participate in the six days of insanity? You should. Go back and watch some of them. They're absolutely hilarious. Oh my gosh, they're jammed in here too. And I remember this box. Lisa got some really cool, um, what do you call it? Some cleanse some face cleansing stuff I think it is and it's function is what it's called and it, you know her name got put on it function of ladybird and I'm like I knew that I didn't you know buy that but yes these are some beautiful grays by knitting essentials oh come on show me the thing oh it's got temperatures it's a 50 gram ball it is a hundred percent acrylic Is it not going to tell me how much is on here? Come on, ma'am. Premium Aaron, and it is gray. Just the name gray, but look at that. That is almost like a, it's like a wash, like a Tweety gray. And this one is the same, also gray, same specs. As is this one, I believe. Yep, all three of them, gray or gris, as you say in Spanish. Then there is this one. This is a little different. This is a double knit. Love double knit yarn. That is not coming out true to color there. It has, it's a gray with just the slight blue hue to the gray. And boy, it's actually pretty soft. Is it not like, you know, cashmere soft? Let's be real because nothing is. But it is nice, nice, nice. What does it say? 50 grams, 100% acrylic doesn't say how much is on here or not that I can see anyway and there's one more in here and this one is cotton this is a hundred grams 85% cotton 15% polyester and this is also well it says the color is light gray I can tell you that much and it looks kind of square because it was on the end of the box. This is not square yarn, okay? It was just very well, very well packed into this box. Don't know how much is on here. It's probably roughly 100 meters-ish 
maybe a little bit more. I don't know, but it will definitely get used. But yeah, and that is that is definitely cotton, but I love the grays in colors. Grays are wonderful neutrals, and they're wonderful just to wear as like a regular color. You know, not everything has to be super bright like, like this. This is one of my favorite hats. But, um, ta -da! thank you. Now, for the mystery. Yeah. I did zip the bag open because I didn't want to have to fiddle with it. Not showing you this side because uh, it's got my whole home address on there. Um, and it's from Wool Warehouse, which is a British thing. Now this uh, makes sense now that she was asking those questions. <laughs> she kept asking me things like, what colors? You know, if you had to choose a color, what color would it be? Blah, blah, blah. And we talked about this okay i can see this oh goody wow wow oh 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 <laughs> okay there is some wendy dk supreme and yes if you look way past at a happy mail video from from the past i already had some of these and she asked me if if i would want some of the same colors or some you know different ones i'm like oh definitely the same because that adds more to it and then i can you know bigger project. It hasn't told me what it wants to be yet. So it's still waiting and it's a little organza bag. But look at this. And apparently from what she said today, I'm like, I noticed I got something else from you. I said, and I don't know why. What I do? And she said, well, you did jump in and become a substitute secret Santa or some, you know, the replace. I was a backup. Somebody couldn't Somebody needed a, a, a gift and I went, yeah, I'll do it. You know, a spirit of giving and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, there's actually, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Hang on, hang on. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Oh, that is beautiful. The color is mauve. It is 100% cotton. It's DK. It's 100 yards, 80, 92 meters. And that color though, wow, that is pretty. It's Cotton DK Classique. It is Stylecraft. I feel like I'm styling now. I have Stylecraft. And it's it's way, it is not a kitchen cotton. It's it's very soft. It's very nice. Oh, that's, that's lovely. And there's something else fuzzy in here that I'm going to wait because I don't know what this is. There's a bag in there with no information on it. I have received a brown paper bag. Don't know if this is some kind of a, you know, spy handoff or something. I'm not sure. Not that I would have any information that anybody else wants. And it's sealed like, whoa. Oh, good grief. It's in Deborah Proof packaging. Ooh, it's even got fuzzies padding it. Hello. That's interesting. Yes, I was blowing fuzzies out of it. Oh, okay. It looks to be a spool of that very, very fine silvery glittery stuff. I think akin to what Lisa was using as the glitter wrap around during the cow that she did during the pick and mix cow for her blanket for the one that she didn't have sparkle on. How very cool is that? Oh, I can add some more sparkle to something. And I think, it, yeah, it's got a little plastic thing on the outside. So keeping it from, you know, just going boing all over the house because that would be bad. Especially since I've got a, an Oscar munch looking at me right over there. Now this, y'all. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, holy cannoli. Okay. Made in Peru. Drops. Brushed alpaca silk unicolor. Luxurious blend of brushed alpaca and mulberry silk. Color 19. It's got a dye lot number. 
Let me see if it says anything else here. 25 grams, it's 140 meters. 77% alpaca, 23% silk. Wow. And it says that it uses a five millimeter hook. I guess to incorporate all the fuzz because look, look at how fuzzy that is. Yes, my hands, eczema deal. Oh my gosh. Oh, but not only, no, no, there's not just one. No. Okay, I'm going to set this down. There is also another one of the same color that got kind of squished and squared from being in there. Let's let it floof out and live. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder what this is going to tell me it wants to be. But there's also, but, but wait, there's more. Um, oh, same specs, but in this beautiful, so soft, sort of creamy white color. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at the fuzz. Oh, feel the soft. Oh, my God. Lisa, this is like, it's too much. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh. I, I just can't stop staring at it because it is just freaking gorgeous. And I've never held anything quite like this before. So, yeah. And yes, this is the very nice and soft and lovely Wendy's DK Supreme 100 gram ball in that lovely color and in this one because we all know that blue is wonderful. I love pink too. Lisa is the queen of blue, and I would never, ever tell her that she had to get me pink yarn. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just, let me tell you, this made my day so much better. I'm recording this after work. That's why the hair is up. It's just, it's been a day, okay? And the mail came today, and I was excited. I was like, I asked the hubby, I said, is there any mail today? Because he gets the text that says we have mail he says, yeah, that looks like there's there might be some junk mail. And he says, looks like you got something from England. And I went, what? Okay. And it was too much to fit in our mailbox out there. So the mail lady had to trek up our driveway in the snow <laughs> to bring it, you know, to the porch. And he came in. And I was like, wow, okay. I have stuff to open. And it sat there and it stared at me. Oh, they're so fuzzy. There's so much fuzzy. But it sat there and it stared at me. And I'm glad I didn't put it off till tomorrow. I'm glad I did it right after I got done with work. Oh, I better put it away before I just kind of pet it to death. Because I'm just, I'm petting it now. I'm petting my yarn, okay? I'm petting it and I'm loving it. I rub its fur backwards and forwards and sideways because it's incredibly soft. But right now, it is going back in the organza, okay? This must stay protected from that little cat monster sitting over there that he's bathing right now. And uh, from me dropping it on the floor or you know, tripping, you know. I'm clumsy, y'all. I just am. Lisa, thank you. Is it really too much? You made my day. You made my stinking week. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and yes, you're going to get tagged in this one, too. <laughs> that has been Happy Mail today. And yes, I am happy. Thank you so much for coming by. Leave me a comment down below. What was the last Happy Mail that you got? Did it make you smile like this? <laughs> See you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.